This region between Florida and the Bahamas is a famous place for studying various marine life. However, there's a mysterious phenomenon that happens here each year, the reasons for which scientists have yet to figure out. At times, people can see these white clouds appearing on the surface of the water. In technical terms, this occurrence is called a whiting event. With the information they have so far, scientists believe that the white patches may contain particles that are rich in carbon. The Bahama Islands do sit on a big platform of carbon, which stays hidden under the water. Another suggested theory for these unusual clouds is that maybe they're caused by blooms of tiny plants in the water. Scientists have even tried to use pictures taken from above by NASA to at least try to understand the movement of these water vapors. They've figured out that the size of the white patches seems to change with the seasons, with the biggest patches happening from March to May and October to December. The average size of a white patch is about 0.9 square miles. On a clear day, satellite pictures show about 24 patches. Other studies show that these events happen more often in places with considerable amounts of sediments at the bottom of the ocean. It's also possible that some ocean conditions make dirt and minerals float in the water. However, from 2011 to 2015, the patches in the ocean suddenly became almost four times larger. But by 2019, they had shrunk back down. It made scientists believe that there might be a 10-year cycle of sorts happening here, but they're not sure what causes it. They've also noticed a connection between the ocean's pH, salinity, winds, and currents. But for now, the data doesn't make a lot of sense. It's not the only secret Earth's oceans keep from us. Have you ever wondered about the deepest part of the ocean? It's known as the Mariana Trench, and it's believed to be around 6.8 miles deep, making it five times deeper than the Grand Canyon. The trench was first studied in 1875 with the help of a weighted rope. And in 2012, a Canadian film director reached its bottom using the Deep Sea Challenger submersible vessel. The Mariana Trench is home to some of the most bizarre creatures on the planet, like the Dumbo octopus, sea cucumber, and goblin shark. The trench takes its name from the nearby Mariana Islands, named in honor of Spanish Queen Mariana of Austria. It may be the deepest part of the ocean these days, but there's a lot we still don't know about the depths of our planet's waters. One such intriguing phenomenon is called phantom bottoms. In the 1940s, when sonar became standard equipment, ships and submarines started to detect unexpected signals from areas where no movement should technically exist. It turned out that these signals were coming from a layer consisting of jellyfish, shrimp, and other deep sea creatures. They rise to the surface at night to feed. Interestingly, these creatures move in a calculated manner, grouping together by species. It's still a mystery to scientists how they managed to do that and why. It was once believed that animals only grouped this way to avoid predators, but the reasons behind the formation of these fake seabeds remain unknown. Recently, the scientific community has acknowledged the existence of a fifth ocean, called the Southern Ocean. This ocean is bordered by three of the four original oceans and encircles Antarctica and the lower hemisphere, with its borders touching Australia, Southern Africa, and South America. It's a unique ocean, attracting attention and sparking curiosity with its secrets and the creatures it might hold. Rumors of a monstrous creature in these waters have been circulating for some time, and recent research has provided video evidence of strange blob-like fish. The creatures were identified as the sea cucumber with the nickname the headless chicken monster. Although this species has been known since the late 1800s, there's very little information about it, including its count, behavior, and reproductive habits. There are also areas in the world where the ocean literally sparkles. It's not because of the water per se, but because of numerous creatures that have the ability to emit light, known as bioluminescence. This is pretty common among aquatic creatures, with three quarters of all underwater life being capable of this. 
bioluminescence can be found anywhere, from the surface to deep within the sea, even as deep as 2.5 miles. These creatures use light for various purposes, for example, for communicating with their own species, attracting prey, or scaring predators away. The science behind bioluminescence involves the use of three chemicals, luciferin, luciferase, and oxygen. This process was first discovered by a French biologist named Raphael Dubois in 1887. If you want to know the difference between real bioluminescence and artificially created light, look for neon blue, green, or red sparkles spread over a large area in the ocean. This can create a captivating and magical effect, much like glitter or stars in the sky. And it's often because of squid, small crustaceans, and algae found in shallow waters. Have you ever heard a strange noise in the middle of the night? Now imagine that, but in the middle of the ocean. There are a few bizarre sounds that have been heard and recorded, like the bloop and Julia. Most experts think they come from big things, like icebergs scraping the ocean floor. But what if that's not the answer? In 1997, scientists were listening to underwater volcano noises in the Pacific using underwater microphones called hydrophones. One day, they heard a very loud and strange sound that was different from anything they had heard before. They called the sound the bloop. They couldn't figure out what was making this sound and thought it could be coming from a secret underwater mission, ship engines, whales, or an unknown sea creature. Years went by, and researchers continued to try and find the source of the bloop by putting hydrophones closer to Antarctica. In 2005, they finally discovered that the bloop was caused by icebergs breaking off glaciers and falling into the ocean. This phenomenon is called an ice quake. With Earth's overall temperature rising each year, ice quakes are happening more often, causing glaciers to crack and melt into the ocean. Then, on March 1, 1999, a loud noise was again heard underwater in the Pacific. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration thought it was probably an iceberg breaking, too. But the sound was different. This led some people to think the noise came from a sea monster named Julia. Some thought it was a new unknown species, while others believed it was a known creature, like a whale or a giant squid. Some even thought it could be a prehistoric animal. To this day, there's no proof that any of these theories are true. Then there's a story of an island that was swallowed whole by the ocean. It was called Bermeja, and it was a tiny and uninhabited island located at the northwest of the Yucatan Peninsula. Just a century ago, it was known to be located in the Gulf of Mexico, but now it's vanished, leaving everyone puzzled. In the past, Bermeja was frequently depicted on maps created by Spanish explorers during the 16th and 17th centuries. Although its location and name varied slightly, no one ever doubted it existed. However, starting from the 18th century, the island's presence on maps started to fade until it finally disappeared completely. So, what could have happened to it? Three official investigations were conducted in 2009 with the help of the most advanced technology. But Bermeja remained a mystery. Could it be possible that the island never existed? and was simply a fabrication created by early explorers to deceive their rivals? Some people believe that countries made maps with inaccuracies to prevent their enemies from using them. Bermeja could have been one of such fake islands. Other scientists disagree. They claim that there are documents with precise descriptions of Bermeja's existence. They firmly believe the island did exist, but in a different location. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.